Every narc victim needs to see this now. You do everything you can to please the narcissist. You do everything you can to make them happy. You try to fix their problems. You try to fix their lives. Because you're seeking their validation. You're seeking their approval. You're seeking a sense of resolve, which they see as a weakness. They see it as a disadvantage. They see it as a fault. They see it as though you're powerless and helpless as though you're easily persuaded into believing them, as though you refuse to admit to yourself that something is true about them, because you're putting them on a pedestal. If you're giving them a place to stay, if you're giving them money, they just see you as a fool. They think you're an idiot. They think you're stupid. They're laughing at you behind your back. They're making fun of you. They see it as though if they're receiving acts of kindness from you, they must be very special and important. They must be very powerful but they don't appreciate anything you give to them because they feel entitled to it. They already expect you to do that for them, which is why they're never grateful for it. They don't see your kindness as a positive trait that you possess. They just see it as a positive trait of their own, where they have managed to manipulate you. They see you as being easy to take advantage of and to use for their own self-centered purpose. But maybe you just don't want to be alone. Maybe you don't want to be abandoned. Which then affects your good sense of judgment because you're acting from your fear of loneliness and abandonment. It results in you trying to go above and beyond their expectations and demands to make them happy, to fix the situation. And that is why they don't respect you. Because they already know they don't deserve that level of treatment. They know they're not worthy of it. but they see it as though it's this weakness that you have because you're giving your respect to someone who already knows they're not deserving of it. They know they're not deserving of your love, which is why when you try to give them your love, it results in them taking advantage of you. It results in them stringing you along, taking you for a ride. They play these games with you because as long as you remain around them, they see you as a winning participant. They know you're going to chase after them. They know you're going to try to fix everything. Which is why they're so quick to point out all of these real or imaginary issues. Which is why they're so quick to push your buttons. Because they already know it's going to get a reaction out of you. They already know it's going to break you down. 
They already know it's going to change your way of thinking and behaving. Because now, they've pulled you into their reality. They're making you chase after them. In an attempt to make sense of their ideas and perspectives. Because they know you don't want to be alone. They know you desire intimacy. They know you want a connection. Which is what they dangle above your head. Which is what they use to control you. Which is why you need to recognize your own value. You need to validate yourself. Because the narcissist has already given you their response to everything you've given to them. They've showed you how they feel when you give them money. They've showed you how they feel when you try to fix everything. When you give them privileges and special treatment. When you try to make them happy. They're showing you. Which is why you need to stop treating them like they're special. Because they're not special. They're not doing anything for you. They're not making your life better. They know they don't have the ability to do that. So they just take advantage of you instead. The narcissist is never going to change. We have to look at ourselves to make the right adjustments. We need to love ourselves. We need to put ourselves first. Or we will continue to meet these types of people. People who exploit us. People who take our money. Because these types of people are master manipulators. They have to manipulate you to survive. They cannot survive without exploiting you. Without making you believe that they have something to offer you in return. Because otherwise... You wouldn't get involved with them. So they promise you something in the future. While they're playing games with you in the present. Because they think you're a fool. But even if you leave them, they will chase you. They will do whatever you want them to do. They will follow your lead. They will cooperate with you. Because they know that's the only way they can get back in. They know that otherwise you're not going to keep them around. But they will never give you what you want because they don't have anything to give. They will just string you along with promises of a future. They will play games with you. Because they don't have any respect for you. It's only when they respect you that they will give you companionship. That's the only time that they will be loyal. Because they know you have other things outside of them. They know you have other options. They know that at any moment you could leave. Because you're not putting them on a pedestal. You're not worshipping them. Because you love yourself. But when your world revolves around the narcissist, they see it as though you don't have any other options. They see you as a fool. Because your world depends on them. So they have the power in that situation. But narcissists were never meant to have power. Because they're too childish and immature. They will only misuse it. They will only use it to make themselves feel important and it will always be at your expense. Which is why you should not be afraid to leave the narcissist. 
you need to keep them on edge because that destroys their ego it destroys their false sense of self-importance it brings them back to reality when they see that you can find someone else who will treat you right because the narcissist doesn't really value you they just want your attention and validation they just want your money they just want whatever conveniences you have to offer to them but you should be in control of that because otherwise they're just going to see you as a fool they're just going to take advantage of you because they can see that you have a strong desire for something you want a connection you want a relationship which is why you should never reveal your goals and dreams to a narcissist you should never give anything of value to them because they're just going to use it to feed their ego to make themselves feel important it's not going to make them value you because they're too insecure to be able to do that and if you look back you may recognize a time where you gave the narcissist what they wanted from you and you may remember how they treated you you may remember how it made them worse and even if you give them what they want eventually they will leave you for someone who isn't doing anything for them someone who doesn't even care about them because that person respects themselves they know the narcissist isn't that special or important which is why the narcissist will do anything for that person they will do things they never did for you but when you give the narcissist what they want they're not going to respect you they're just going to take advantage of you they're just going to break you down and then they're going to find someone else after they've drained you of your energy and resources which is why you shouldn't give them all of your time and attention instead you should recognize your worth because then you will realize that you deserve more you won't stay stuck in a situation that isn't benefiting you in any way you will find something else that is better for you thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.